Hello and welcome to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Liberty Heights, Apopka, Florida. God is preparing your table. The Lord has been constantly showing me 808 and 818 on the clock. 808 stands for new beginnings. 818 stands for new abundance and provision, financial blessings. Also, these are key dates this month, 88 and 818. This is a reminder I released a prophetic word in December 2023 for 2024. The Lord said, less is more in 2024. He said, many need to be reminded of this word, less is more. Trust him with the prunings, the changes he's bringing. If he removes things, including but not limited to people or relationships or alignments, ministries or entities you've been connected to possibly for many years, maybe even old systems or old ways of operating and finances, old ways of thinking or believing. This is to make room for the new. He must remove old ways and patterns that we built up from old seasons, seasons he is taking us out of. The removal is key. It's key to making space for the new system, the new relationships, the new alignments, the new financial blessings he is going to put in place. What's new and pure can't reside with old ways, old patterns, old things built out of old seasons. Lay everything at his feet. Let him do what he needs to do with your old seasons. Let him lead you, not not your old seasons, your old patterns, or your old ways of operating. Those he must prune. He must close old doors and give you the new. Let him have everything, everything that we've already built through old seasons, and trust him to choose wisely for us. Let go of all preconceived ideas of how you thought things should be. Let go of presumption and assumption. We must allow ourselves to be open and free to submit to the Lord and to the leading, the leading out of old seasons, to the stepping into new, the the new of joy and victory and excitement, ready to receive the new gifts that God's bringing. The new beginnings, the new relationships, the new alignments, the new marriages, new financial provision and blessing. We must trust the adding to and the taking away. Many are very excited to receive the new gifts, the new alignments, the new relationships and marriages. There's a joy and an excitement in our heart for those things, but we must have the same joy, the same excitement for the things that he takes away. They must be taken away to make room for those new beginnings. He doesn't want us sitting around crying and whining, moping and falling into failure spirit. It's all him doing it. We must submit. We enjoy the cleansing and the protection that he's given us. It's him protecting us. Oh, what a beautiful Lord that protects us. The Lord is trying to prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. This is part of this reckoning. We must allow him with joy to prepare the table, to allow him to anoint us, to fill our cup to overflowing. But we must empty the cup first to make room for the overflow. O Lord, we declare, we will submit with joy and victory to the removal and the pruning. We declare less is more in 2024. We lay everything at your feet, Lord. We say, have it all. Take what you will. We trust you to replace it with beauty and joy for ashes. O Lord, we thank you for the new beginning you're bringing us. We will embrace it with joy and allow you to continue to make room for those new things to come. See Romans 8.28 and Psalms 23, 5 and 6 in the New King James Version. Friend, will you pray with me into this word? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that you are making all things new. Lord, that you are preparing a table for us. And Father, I pray that we can position our hearts, that my friend and I, Father, can not cling too tightly to those things you're trying to remove from our lives, but Lord, willingly give them up. So thankful for our sister Liberty, particularly this this line that she talks about. We must be as excited for the things he removes as the things that he adds into our life. That's a powerful statement, friend. Lord, I pray that as you prepare the table, in the presence of our enemy, I may add, that, Lord, we are ready. We see the blessing. We experience the blessing, Father, and we point it back to you, thanking you, trusting in you, declaring that you are good. And your mercy endures forever. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we declare, Amen.